If you focus on delivering value, if you focus on just creating content people want to see, create selfless content, okay? Create content for your audience. Then bit by bit by bit, people will start appreciating you more. They'll tune in more. They'll come back to your channel, come back to your blog because they want to see your content. They want to read your words. They want to follow you. And that is when they will want to buy from you. Hi guys, Philip here. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you why you are not making money online as a solopreneur. Whether you're a content creator or a blogger, YouTuber, whatever, uh, using email marketing. If you're following the, tra the training inside Tao, I want to show you why you are not making money online. Okay, uh, so I'm currently in Koh Samui in Thailand. Uh, I'm working here for the next few weeks uh, as a part of my uh, traveling the world as a nomad. And I was, I'm also here to commemorate 10 years since I started my first minor successful web website online. And I'm here back here to uh, basically reflect, reminisce, create some videos and talk to you about this topic uh, so you can understand what it takes to make money online. And so I've got a playlist about this here. So click the link below and jump on uh, those videos so you can understand why I'm here, what I'm doing in Thailand, and you can learn more about me and my journey as well. Okay, so why are you not making money online? That is a very good question. Uh, obviously, there are many different reasons for this, but the main sort of core five or six reasons are as follows. Number one is that you are not consistent enough in your efforts. Many people come online and they want to be a blogger or a YouTuber or create a, some kind of social media profile and they'll post one or two or three videos and then have a two week break and then come back a month later and then post four or five more videos or a few blog posts and then come back, you know, six months later <laughs> and then come back and then post a bit more and then post a bit more here and then do a bit here. It's kind of like lackluster. It's very sort of, you know, it's, it's just very, very naive, very, very, you know, they, they try, but they're just no consistency at all. And they never understand why they don't, make, they don't move forward. They never understand why they don't make money. And it's because you're not consistent enough. Because for you to build an, a real audience, they need to see you again and again and again and again and again and again. And also for you to become a good content creator, you need to stick to one project and focus in on one avenue so you can learn the skill set you need. So if you're posting irregularly and if you're sort of haphazardly appearing here and there when you want to when it's convenient to you and you're wondering why your business isn't growing that's probably why uh, consistency is key the best way to kind of compare this to real life is imagine if you owned a bar but you only opened up when you felt like it are you gonna have regulars no nope, because they won't know when you're open are you gonna have passing trade? No, nope, because they won't know when you're open and also nobody else can recommend you because they, they don't know when you're open. So think of it in that sense. Think of it in terms of having a bar and you're open when you feel like it and you wonder why you're not getting the results you want or need or deserve. That's why. And number two is that you're not emailing enough uh, with, uh, you know, I'm sure you've heard the money is in the list. And this is very, very true. And so if you are not emailing your list, okay, at least at the bare minimum twice a month, then you are missing out, okay? Obviously, every every business is different, every niche is different, so it does depend, but for the vast majority of niches, uh, you need to email, email your list once a week, at least, okay? Um, uh, because that way you keep in touch, and don't forget, the number one way to get into people's pockets in terms of their money, and attention and eyeballs and just for them to give you their time is through email. There are obviously many other ways you have YouTube, social media, TikTok, whatever, right? But the one that's very powerful is email because you own that email list uh, with social media and you know YouTube and so on. You can get shut down in a, ma in a matter of minutes, uh, algorithm changes and so on and so forth. So, um, you know, it's uh, with your email. That's the only one that is truly yours that you can really make money on demand. So if you're wondering why your results are inconsistent, it's because you are emailing inconsistently and there's no follow through to your emails. And again, the whole bar thing, example, the same thing. If you only email out once a month, how can you expect your audience to expect it to want to open your email? There's no consistency there, okay? So you need, you need to email more and that will ensure that you get more consistent results, okay? And the next reason, guys, is because you are creating selfish content. Most content creators start their content creation journey by thinking, hmm, what is the easiest content for me to create? What is best content for me to create? What's the easiest keyword for me to rank for? What's the best way for me to create better content so it's easier for me? Me, 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 me. Beginners will avoid difficult topics because they don't want to research much. Beginners will avoid creating content that is challenging because oh, it's gonna take a bit longer than planned. 
that's why you're not getting the results you want. Because if you are creating selfish content, then you are not creating content that people want to watch. You're creating content that is easy for you, that is straightforward for you, that will hopefully, you think, give the results you want, not the results your audience wants. So if you ever encounter a topic that you think, oh my God, that's gonna take forever, that's a good sign. You should make that content because that shows you that uh, the fact that that is a valuable piece of content. And it means that behind you, there are 99% of other beginners who are gonna go, oh, but that content looks really hard. Nah, I don't like that. So I'm gonna do this one here because it's easier for me. And that's why you're not getting the results you want because you're creating content that you want and not what your audience wants. And even if it is what your audience wants, it's gonna be lackluster easy, fast for you, which means you're not going to do the research, you're not going to go in depth, in depth enough, you are not going to commit enough time to, to create content people want to see. And that's why you're not, not getting, getting the results you want, okay? And number four is that you're not engaging with your audience. Uh, believe it or not, some people are so arrogant and so dismissive of their first 50, 100, 200, 300 subscribers that they forget that they're the reason they're going to get the next 10,000 subscribers. So if you if you get comments on your videos, you make damn sure you reply to every single one. If you get a like on your Facebook page, you reply to every single one. If you get any engagement whatsoever, it, particularly in the beginning of your journey, you have to, you must reply to every single one. And don't just say thanks. Actually give a really nice personalized answer because that gives them a reason to come back that builds your basic audience and the classic thing is for beginners they're, they're so selfish they're so just me 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 i want more subscribers but they forget that yeah but the thing is those first hundred subs you get on youtube on social media wherever those 100 subs are the reason you're going to get the next thousand subs because youtube and social media their algorithm uses those subscribers to build the foundation of your next subscribers because that's the algorithm they push the content out to and most beginners are so complacent so arrogant and so just naive they ignore them because they think Ugh, it's only 100 subs who cares right and then they forget that yeah but that's the reason you're going to get the next 100 subs and the next 100 subs and the next 100 subs so you treat them like gold because that is what they are and that is why you are not making money because you are choosing to ignore and not engage and the fifth and final point uh, for the reasons where you're not making, not making money is because you don't quite understand the customer journey yet beginners have a naive outlook when it comes to making money online where they think that a person will come to YouTube or to Google or to social media see your content one time and then buy immediately and uh, beginners get so disheartened when they publish a video and they get 50 views or 100 views and nobody buys anything and they get so disheartened when they publish a blog post it doesn't rank or they get so disheartened when they see like you know 50 people have seen this video or this blog post and no one's clicked your link and bought anything and that's because you don't understand the journey for a customer to buy from you first of all they're much more likely to buy from you if they're on your email list secondly they have to be exposed to you more than one time uh, in the form of value like videos like this here okay um, you right now you're watching me for the second time the first time the third time the fifth time the tenth time and for every time you watch me your opinion of me grows in some way it could be worse it could be better but for the most part as long as you keep watching me the chances of you buying from me increases every single time but beginners they tend to think that oh but I had 50 views and I had 16 affiliate links in my description and no one no one clicked and bought anything. Why? It's because they have no idea who you are. You haven't delivered enough value yet. They don't trust you yet. And they have no reason to want to buy via you yet. But this, this is a very easy fix because if you focus on delivering value, if you focus on just creating content people want to see, create selfless content, okay? Create content for your audience. Then bit by bit by bit, people will start appreciating you more. They'll tune in more. They'll come back to your channel, come back to your blog because they want to see your content. They want to read your words. They want to follow you. And that is when they will want to buy from you. Okay, so understand guys that when someone comes to your blog, to your video, whatever, the vast majority, okay, 95% will never buy from you. They watch, they learn, they go away, and they never come back. But that small five, 10% will stick around and they are the ones that buy, but they buy after their second, their third, their fifth, their sixth, their 10th exposure. That is when they buy from you. Also, don't forget, with the customer journey, people only buy from you when you have something relevant to offer. 
so, right? Something, something relevant. So, you know, for example, if you're in the weight loss niche, okay, and your niche is, you know, booty, okay, if you're trying to show people how to get a good gym booty, and if you're promoting products to an audience that isn't relevant to that, they're not going to buy from you. Okay, so your content has to match your offer and your words and your value has to match the products you're promoting and so on and so on. So that, that again, that's why, you know, uh, some niches do overlap. So right now, for example, in, in this video here, if I were to tell you right now, guys, go and cl click them below and go and buy this email marketing course I like. Okay, I'm not talking about email marketing here. That's not what, what this video is about. I'm not, this is not what I'm doing here. So if I now said, guys, click the link below, I've got a 10% discount for you to buy this email marketing course by this, this guy, blah, 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 blah. Go and click the link. Most of you watching would go, I, I don't care, Philip. Thank you, but I don't care, <laughs> right? So it needs to be relevant to the topic. It needs to be relevant to your niche. It needs to be, re needs to be relevant to whatever you're doing, okay? And so that's why you, you're not making money because you need to have those elements in line and, un and understand the customer journey. Basically, to sum up, guys, don't create selfish content. Understand the customer journey. Follow through and email more, okay? And be more cons consistent because all those things combined they ensure that you can move forward in, in a logical way. And slowly but surely, day by day, week by week, your results start growing. A little bit here, a little bit there. Uh, but consistency is probably the most important one because consistency across the board, doesn't matter if it's emails, content, research, you, you know, just getting up in the morning, going sitting sit on your computer, right? Consistency across the board is the most important thing. And most of you watching are inconsistent in every effort you make uh, because, um, of you know work obligations family obligations and doing this online thing is extra which makes it very very tough right um that's why inconsistency is so difficult because doing it at the same time as doing your normal job right is really really hard and i i, I really do appreciate that uh but yeah guys anyway hope that this helps and uh please do click the link below and jump over to my playlist about my journey here to thailand and my journey as a digital nomad uh, so you can understand what i'm doing here why and what i'm doing uh, traveling the world okay so guys thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.